Hello everyone. In this video we're going to go over Home Assistant's um, Real Link NVR and IP camera integration. It's uh, similar to the OnVIF integration except for you're able to access all the sensors Real Link has such as the pet sensor, vehicle, and uh, person sensor. Hope you enjoy. Alrighty, and this link will be in the description below, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through my GitHub and I have a page right here where it's all the equipment I use. We'll scroll down to the real link and there's a link to this camera on Amazon. What makes this camera so awesome is that it has a complete 180 degree field of view along with the uh, people, um, vehicle, and pet detection, which is all completely adjustable to make it work for your environment. Here's a quick snapshot of my cameras and why I like them so much. This is night versus day. You can see the 180 degree field of view. So you're going to go to your home assistant interface, and then settings, and then devices and services. From there, we're going to go to add integration. And we're going to type in real link or Rio to get it to come up. And you're going to click the real link IP and VR camera. You're going to type in the credentials here that you use to sign into your camera. Then you're going to type in the IP address here. So I would go ahead and make sure your cameras are statically assigned. So after you add your camera or cameras, you'll click here. I only have three on here right now, but I have a handful of them. But um, the one that I was just showing you a moment ago was the garage camera. So we'll click on this. You see it's got a whole bunch of cool stuff it adds. We'll go over that a little more in detail. I uh, went ahead and just did the default add the dashboard just for this um, demonstration. But you'll see right here is just about everything that's useful that you could do with it. What's so cool about these is that it exposes the built-in person, pet, and vehicle sensors. And you'll see that you know, when it triggered them. Um, same thing with the pet, and the same thing with the vehicle. Then you have a built-in motion sensor. I keep the motion sensor low because I already have a motion sensor out there. Um, but I like that you can also adjust the sensitivity for all three here. And you can also do things like, you know, activate the siren, um, turn off the recording, activate the floodlight, and of course, you now you have your live view. But um, there's more you can do right here, like you can preload it. And uh, you see that now, now it's live. But anyway, another cool thing that you could do with these are, and again, you could do these with the native app, but the whole point of Home Assistant to me is that you want everything in one place. I think I have a script made for another video. Let's look. Oh, I do. All right. Let's go ahead and run this script. And what it's doing is, it's taking a picture of right that second the script was ran and saving it to there as a JPEG or JPG. And then this is the second one where it saves it with a timestamp. The reason I save it with this one is that if I wanted to send a I continue this with a automation or whatever that would send a notification with that picture. I want to make sure that the name is static. But let's go take a look at uh, what we just did. All right, and here's the two images we just made. Or we just triggered the script to make. Fill a load for me. And it doesn't look like it's going to, so we'll just go to it with our Samba share. See, I took that snapshot. Right now it's 11.27. And I took the same exact snapshot here. And again, this one's for uh, if I wanted to send it to one of my TVs, and I happen to have LG TV, so I can. But, um, yeah. There's just so many neat things you could do with these cameras if you uh, decide to spend the time on it with Home Assistant. But I hope I swayed at least one person into using Real Link cameras. They, they of course use OnVIF, which I won't buy a camera that doesn't because I want it to be compatible with all the rest of my stuff, which in my case is Home Assistant. But I hope you enjoyed and thank you.